Well, hello everyone, what is going on? It is the Almighty Jeff, and we are here with episode 59 of the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Special Edition. In the previous episode, we com we um, completed the quests The Horn of the Ogden Wing Call and The Blade of the Dark by returning the horn, unlocking the third and final word for the Unrelenting Foreshout, and then defeating a dragon at Karth Waston. We then did all but one of the quests in Karth Waston, the only one we have left is to find Rocky's Ancestral Shield inside Stony Creek Cave, which we'll do at some point. Um, I did check and we don't actually have a hand in mead thing, it was just a passing comment that I seem to pick up on, but we've done everything except for that one quest. So, um, just before we ended the episode, we return to Riverwood where we're just going to speak to Delphine about our next and final quest in this particular set. So we don't want any heads, alright. Okay, are you gonna move? Not here, downstairs. Um not here, downstairs. Okay. <laughs> Alright, that was weird. Okay, come on now. Gotta close the back Yeah. Don't want any people in here. I figured out how we're going to get you into the Thalmor Embassy. That didn't take long. I've been doing this a long time, remember? While the Thalmor have been looking for me, I've been watching them. So what's your plan? How do I infiltrate the Thalmor Embassy? The Thalmor Ambassador, Ellenwen, regularly throws parties where the rich and connected cozy up to the Thalmor. I can get you into one of those parties. Once you're inside the Embassy, you can get away and find Ellenwen's secret files. I have a contact inside the embassy. He's not up for this kind of high-risk mission, but he can help you. His name is Malborn. Wood Elf. Plenty of reason to hate the Thalmor. You can trust him. I'll get word for him to meet you in solitude at the Winking Skeever. You know it? While you're doing that, I'll work on getting you an invitation to Ellenwyn's little party. Meet me at the Solitude Stables after you've arranged things with Malborn. Any questions? Here's his contact of yours. You sure I can trust him? Don't worry about Malborn. He's not a dangerous character like you. But he hates the Thalmor at least as much as I do. He's a wood elf. The Thalmor wiped out his family back in Valenwood during one of their purges that we never hear about. Luckily they don't know who he really is, or he wouldn't be serving drinks at the Ambassador's parties. How am I going to get into this party? Let me handle that. You'll have a real invitation, don't worry. As long as you can act the part of a Thalmor toady, you'll get past the guards. Once I'm inside the embassy, then what? That's when the fun starts. You'll have to slip away from the party without raising the <clears> alarm. <throat> then you'll need to find Ellen Wynn's office and search her files. Malborn should be able to point you in the right direction. I'll see you in solitude after I meet Malborn. Sounds good. Be careful. Alright. Done with that. So now we need to head over to Solitude. Excuse me. Excuse me. Alright. Good day. Alright, so how we get into Solitude. I'm going to have a look at the map, see how close we actually have a marker to it. If it is close, then we'll walk. If not, we'll just go to Whiterun and take the... Um, you know what I mean? Take the cart. Uh, yeah, a bit of a distance. Not worth it. Well, it's only 20 gold. It's practically nothing. So we'll go over to Solitude, speak to Malborn, and get this quest underway. Hello. Need a ride? Where do you want to go? Solitude. Climb and back, and we'll be off. All right, let's go. First time in solitude? Beautiful old city. Capital of Skyrim. I'm sure you already knew that. Mm-hmm. Okay. So again, solitude is the other main HQ for the Civil War. as the home of the Imperials rather than the Stormcloaks in Windhelm. Alright. Bit late. Alright, so we've got the stables down here. We'll just get that as a... Oh, it's Catless Farm. Never mind. Hmm. 
believe we can um, do some bits. What's weird? It's just another place off the thing, isn't it, really? Um, let's see. A bit late, isn't it? <laughs> just like some random guy just comes outside at 11 o'clock at night and starts picking up your plants. You just kind of, what the hell is this kid up to? Alright. We could always use help picking from Yeah. Honest pay. Honest pay for honest pay yeah. for honest work. Alright, I think that's the only thing that's going around here. So is this does this also count as the stables? Good day. That's what's a game and you got business at the stables? That's what I'm here for. What do you offer? Yeah, I would. Walken never heard nobody. If you change your mind, I'll be here. I guess it's just another, um... But about eight years now. I used to be a mercenary, but one trip to Raven's Car Hollow, sure. Oh, Sella. There's hag ravens in that cave with talons like daggers. They'll open your bowels quick as you wink if you let them get close. A creature like that will make a man think long and hard about what he wants out of life. Mm-hmm. If you're heading up to solitude, is this about the stables? The My husband Gaiman handles the business. Alright, yeah, that's like everything we can do here. Excuse me. Excuse me. Okay, um, let's actually head up to Solitude now. Alright, uh, how do we... How do we get back up there? Alright. Alright, so heading up there, so that as you can see is the beautiful solitude. Oh, we never actually asked about solitude, did we? Need a ride? What do you know about solitude? Solitude's been the capital of Skyrim as long as I can remember. Most of the high kings of Skyrim were Jarls of solitude first. Well, let's see, what else? The Bard's College is here, in the main office of the East Empire Company. If you need it, you can get a room for a fair price at the Vinking Skeever, just inside the main gate. All right. All right. All right, then. All right, Eru. It's heading up to the capital of Skyrim. So it's taken us 50 odd episodes to actually go to the capital. Definitely going to be spending quite a while here when it comes to doing side stuff. There's quite a lot of stuff to do in Solitude. But first of all, we should be able to check out a little something going on towards the right. They can't hurt Uncle Rog here. Tell them he didn't do it. Position. Far you need to go home. Go home and stay there until your mother comes. Get on with it! <laughs> okay, calm down. Traitor! You should tell her that her uncle is scum that betrayed his you high You betrayed king. us! Best she know now, Advar. You're all hearts, Vivian. Rogvir, you helped Ulfric Stormcloak escape the city after he murdered High King Tori. By opening that gate for Ulfric, you betrayed the people of Solitude. He doesn't deserve to speak! There was no murder. Ulfric no. challenged Tori. He beat the High King in fair combat. Such is our way. Such is the ancient custom of Skyrim and all lords. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I agree with them. Get on with it. On this day, I go to Sovngarde. Yeah. Yum. Is that it? We done? Yeah, okay. So yeah, so there's that. It's interesting to watch, but nothing really else goes on there. Alright, right, right the Winking Skeever, where we'll be meeting Melbourne. Come on in. We got warm food, warm drinks, warm beds. <laughs> okay. Hello, Melbourne. Yes? Our mutual friend sent me. Really? You're who she picked? She knows That's a bit she's rude. Doing. Here's the deal. I can smuggle some equipment into the embassy for you. Don't plan on bringing anything else in with you. The Thalmor takes security very seriously. 
Give me what you can't live without, and I'll make sure to get it into the embassy. The rest is up to you. I'm ready. Here's what I'll need. Okay, I'll get this inside the embassy for you. Uh, I've got to go. I'll find you at the party. Don't worry. All right, so we'll give him us our um, bow. No, our bow. Sorry, our um, our war axe. But we will actually give him our bow. Um, what have we got most of? Um, we'll give him our steel arrows as well. I think we're going to do this a little bit different. We're not going to use um, our magic because we need to do this stealthily and obviously a big boom and fire and stuff. It's not going to do too well. Um, we'll give him the gold amulet as well. That could be useful, I guess. Let's give him extreme healing. Give him all them. Just in case we do decide to use Magicka. Nope, didn't mean to do that. Um, leave it with that. Um, no, this will need, will we? No, it should be fine. Alright. Leave more of all them. That should be everything. Yeah, okay. Let's go and meet Delphine. Should be at the stables. Your job is to get into the park. Yep, yeah, I know. Okay, so yeah, um, Catless Farm is the stables. So we'll go there, we'll meet Delphine, get this thing underway. This is a pretty unique kind of quest. I quite enjoy it. The grab all these. Have you given Malborn the gear you want to smuggle into the embassy? Yes, Malborn's all set. Good. I have your invitation to the party. But the only way you're going to get past the guards is if they really believe you're an invited guest. Which means you need to look the part and not be armed to the teeth. Here, put this on. When you're ready, I'll keep the rest of your gear safe until you get back. You'll only have what Malborn smuggled in for you, plus whatever you can pick up inside. Can't go to a party at the Thalmor Embassy dressed like. Give me a bloody second. All right, so we need to put on a the party stuff. I think that's it. Everything else is just you know. Rejuvenation. Um, I could probably get away with wearing that. Okay. Probably take off our um, arrows as well. I think no, um, like that. Yeah. Okay. Ready? I guess that will have to do. You should pass for a real guest at least until you open your mouth. Ready to board the carriage to the embassy? I'm ready. Keep the rest of my things safe for me. Don't worry. It will all be waiting for you when you get back. Just make sure you get back out of there alive with the information we need. Good luck. All right. Let's go. So, yeah, obviously we're kind of slimmed down on what we actually have. Found more embassy. Ah, uh, fellow latecomer to Ellen's little soiree. And arriving by carriage, no less. I salute you, sir. Thank you. My lateness is due more to getting lost on the way up this God's forsaken house than to any desire to actually arrive late. I prefer to arrive early, often the day before the party, so as not to miss out on any of the drinks. <laughs> this guy knows. Please, you first. Insist. Okay. There's not enough drinking in the world today. Welcome to the Thalmor Embassy. Your invitation, please. Here you go. Thank you, sir. Go right in. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you indeed. Let's go. Welcome. I don't believe we've met. I am Ellenwyn, the Thalmor ambassador to Skyrim, and you are. My name is Jethy Almighty. Pleased to meet you. Ah, yes. I remember your name from the guest list. Please, tell me more about yourself. What brings you to this... to Skyrim? 
What is it, Malborn? It's just that we've run out of the Alto wine. Do I have your permission to uncork the Orinthia Red? Of course. I've told you before not to bother me with such trifles. Yes, Madam Ambassador. My apologies. We'll have to get better acquainted later. Please enjoy yourself. Thank you. All right, so there are a few familiar faces and a few new faces that are around here. So let's have a look. We've got Victoria Vici, Vittoria Vici, sorry, who's from Solitude. Uh, obviously, got Razalan we've already met. Ellen Wen, there's Preventus, we already know him, obviously. Um, Yarl Igrod Ravencrone, I think that's the Yarl of Riften. The Grey Quarter in Windhelm is little better than a slum. It's shameful that the Dark Elves are made to live that way. You speak truly. Um, so we got Yarl Sidgear, that's... Oh, well, he's of the um, Dawn Star Falkreath. I think Falkreath. Have you known Ellen Wynn long? I've known her long enough to appreciate her excellent taste in food and wine, and also long enough to respect her importance to Skyrim. She plays a vital role in rooting out the forbidden worship of Talos. As far as I'm concerned. Those Talos worshippers get what they deserve. All they do is cause problems for me and the other Jarls. Some of you resent the Thalmor, how about you? Yes, I know what you mean. Most Nords struggle to accept change. Those who fought the Thalmor in the Great War still see an enemy. But that war is over, and a new day has dawned. Besides, the Thalmor reward their friends richly. Anyone who doesn't take advantage of that is a stubborn fool. Yeah, okay, so I don't really want to speak to everyone here, it's just going to take forever, but obviously we know Preventus. Um, Ildi, don't know who that is. Um, Brailus. Or even Blackbriar, obviously we know who she is. Um, Yal Igmund, he's... Markarth, I think. Alright, who I want to actually speak to is... Oh, so what was going to say? Malbon. Good. As soon as you distract the guards... I'll open this door, and we can get you on your way. Let's hope we both live through this day. I'm ready. Of course. Let me see if we have another bottle of that. I'll be waiting by the door for everyone to be distracted. I'd like a drink. Here you go, sir. The finest Colobian brand. I'm gonna need that. Is there anything else I can get for you? Yeah, we're gonna need that for something. So I want to speak to you, Resolin. What does a fellow need to do to get a drink around here? Here, I bought you a drink. Ah, the one generous soul amongst a gathering of pinch pennies and lick spittles. If there's anything I can ever do for you, do not hesitate to call upon me. Actually, there is something you could do for me. Wonderful. I can begin to repay your generosity immediately. Say on, friend. I need you to cause a scene. Get everyone's attention for a few minutes. Is that all? <laughs> My friend, you've come to the right person. You could say that causing a scene is somewhat of a specialty of mine. I'm not sure that it's new. Stand back and behold my handiwork. <laughs> Alright. That also counts as one of the favours, you know, that um quests all drunks have ones. So I have an announcement to make. I propose a toast to Ellen Wynn, our mistress. Let's go. Let's go. Before anyone notices us, it could be more unlikely than that someone would actually want her in their bed. Although most of you are already in bed. <laughs> All right. Let me do the talking. So far, so good. Let's hope nobody saw us slip out. We need to pass through the kitchen. Your gear is hidden in the larder. Just stay close and let me do any talking. Got it? Follow me. Someone bring me a drink, quick. All right. Who comes, Malburn? You know I don't like strange smells in my kitchen. A guest feeling ill. Leave the poor wretch be. A guest? In the kitchens? You know this is against the rules. Rules, is it, Zavani? I didn't realize that eating moon sugar was permitted. Perhaps I should ask the ambassador. Get out of here. I saw nothing. 
Your gear is in that chest. I'll lock the door behind you. Don't screw this up. All right. Come on. So take all our bits, obviously. Um, and the rest will just keep. If someone misses me at the party. We're it's dead. Okay. Now good to be very you sneaky. Your You're on your own this morning. Who are they with? More of the emissaries' treaty enforcers. No, they're high mages, just in from Alinor. I guess herself is finally getting worried about all the dragon attacks. Ah, good. I've been wondering how we... Oh crap, we should probably equip some arrows. <laughs> Defend this place from a dragon. If a dragon does show up, maybe we'll get lucky. Ah! Someone there might give it a ah! 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 This isn't good. Oh yeah, shit, he'll lock the door behind us, isn't he? Oh. Right, this isn't going too well for us, is it? Um, yeah, we're just gonna have to... Oh. Oh, that's one way of doing it. <laughs> Alright, so the stealthy approach is not the best for someone who has pretty much never used archery. ourselves up a little bit. So there isn't really much to pick up in these little bits actually. There is something we're going to want to get a little bit later, but not until we're finishing up this little area. Oh. Wrong shout. This isn't good. I was not anticipating it would be so difficult. <laughs> um, let's whip out the Skyforge steel. Yes, damn me. What are you gonna do? That's right, bitch. Sit the hell down. Um, yeah, you don't really have anything of interest. Alright. I want to see if we can actually test out our, um, you know, new unrelenting force thing. Um, yeah, so I'm pretty much just going to skip through these areas. There's nothing really of interest. So we'll have a brief look around so you can have a look at what the former MC looks like. But like I said, there is very few things we're actually going to want from here. Just a couple of bits of soul gems and stuff, and nothing really interesting. And I kind of skip through, especially seeing as we're already at 23 minutes. Alright, so we are done in this little section. Let's go out into Skyrim, into the courtyard. Alright, so these guys immediately aggro, so. Um. Yeah, I'll take your bits and your bobs. Doesn't help when you're a mage and you're <laughs> using magicka reducers against you. Of course. Why don't we just negate all the, like... Oh my goodness, right, so basically I'm screwed here. Right. My main crouch mod has realised. Right, that should eliminate the... Ah, uh, what do you call it? be conjured thing. You know what I mean? There we go. Storm Archonok. That's what they're called. Um, Alright. Seems like we've got a couple of guys aggro down here as well, but I think they're in the front entrance. 
so I don't think they can actually come round. No, it's all good with me. I think they've gone now anyway. Alright, they've cooled the jets. But yeah, so let us now head into Elwyn's Solar. Nope, nobody hit. I don't know who you are, but you made a mistake. Alright, time to... stub the shit out of this guy. Alright, rolling Bill. You're going down. That's right. Enjoy that critical shot. Fool should know not to mess with me. What do we got here? Quite a few stuff. Wow. He was loaded. Alright, we got a we got a book. We got a. Um, oh, we've already read that one. All right. Um, so we got a couple of other guys. We got Gisa. He was quite loaded as well. Bloody Nara. And we've got the monies. Um, yeah, so you got all these bits and bats. Again, I'm not going to bother with all this. It's going to kind of rush through. I want to get this quest done in this episode. As unlikely as that is looking at the moment. Because um, they're pretty big, these places. Alright, excuse me. Pardon me. Pardon me. Excuse me. But yeah, there is there isn't anything particularly unique in these areas. However, in the last little section before the end, there is a unusual gem, so I'll have to be sure to pick that up. Um, okay, so oh hello. We've got drug investigation current status. So you could just um have a quick pause and a read of these. If you're interested. Take that, take that. So dossier on Delphine. All right, and on Ulfric Stormcloak. Okay, we'll take that. Sweet. Okay, we're done here. So let's head down the stairs. Let's see what's going on. Got a couple of minutes left. We might just go a little bit over. Just to um, finish the quest up in this episode. It shouldn't be too much longer now, I don't think. What a fool. What a bloody fool. Alright. Um, what do we got here? Thalmor Dossier on Esburn. Alright. Alright, and that's all that. Okay, good. Um, that, is, that is actually a confrontation that we do not want to go badly. We need, um, for a miscellaneous quest to come up, we need Marbone to be alive. Falmore will be hunting me for the rest of my life. I hope it was worth it. Yeah. Okay, so just make sure that, um, unless you're not interested in miscellaneous quests, that Malborn does not die. Um, obviously that was a bit close, then I was wondering if it would have actually killed him, but it didn't. I told you. I don't know anything else about it. I'm not here to torture you. What? Who? What? What do you want then? No time to explain. Let's get out of here. Yeah, sure. Uh, okay. Come on, this way. I've seen the guards use it to get rid of bodies. It must lead somewhere. Sounds good. Um, sounds good. I'll follow you. Whatever you want. But let's go now. Yep. Okay. 
I saw guards dragging bodies over here. Might be a way out. Who are you? What are you doing here? They grabbed me in Riften. They seem to think I know something. They just kept asking me the same damn questions. You go ahead. I'm not done here. No problem. Thanks for springing me. I owe you. Look me up in Riften if you make it out. All right. Uh, move my bomb. Now the Thalmor will be hunting me for the rest of my life. I hope it was worth it. Yeah, it was worth it. All right, we got a chest here. Take all these bits and these bats. Nothing of interest up here. All right, we are very much closing in on the end here. As Etienne's going to walk really slowly, but that's ideal. I don't want him dying on us. So I'm afraid I'm going to have to take the lead route here. So I think... Well, obviously we've got an enemy coming up. But... There we go. I think that's it, though. So we should be safe for now. Alright. Um, we need to come back here because we have a novice conjurer. His coin burst and his unusual gem. So... Yeah, like I said. So this is before the ages of man, another illusion increase. Very nice. So yeah, so make sure that you pick up that unusual gem on your way out. Obviously just give a quick pause, you wanna read these. Alright, simple enough. Now yeah, you keep saying that. Yes, it was worth it. Sorry to break it to you, buddy. Um, so this is Reeking Cave. I don't know if there's anything up here. Right, it looks like it cuts off automatically there. Um, so yes, yeah, so we've got everything. Alright, cool. It's a very small area. You alright, buddy? Look a bit stuck. You right there? Yeah, he'll, he'll, he'll get, he'll get over it. <laughs> no more, I yield, I yield. All right, we are done here. So we return to Delphine. Whoa, whoa, calm, 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 calm. Oh, great, just what we need. Um, do we have a calm spell? Um, no. No, we don't. Alright, you know what? We've got bigger fish to fry. Dude, Malborn, I need to speak to you. Malborn, what? what? No calm. <laughs> Death is highly overrated. Malbon, Malbon, leave him. Stop, stop. Malbon, 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 Malbon. First, uh, yeah, screw it. Now, where's this dragon? What's he playing at? Are these guys still going at it? Wow, seriously. One hit kill. Jesus. Wow, alright, well, he was weak. <laughs> Malbon's still chasing after him. Malbon, I'm gonna need you to stop doing that. Jesus Christ. Can, uh, we need like a calm spell. I mean, I know the one exists. Um, um, no, we don't really have anything, do we? Hmm. Really? Nothing? No, it doesn't look like we do, do we? And obviously, I still can't fast travel until Etienne Ranis disappears off my mini map, which isn't good. So I'm just gonna keep on running. He's gonna die, isn't he? 
We're meant to actually have some dialogue afterwards with um right, who's this? With Marbon, but obviously he seems a bit busy. Not another dragon, seriously. Why is he still on my map? Seriously. We're just about to lose him. There we go. Alright. <laughs> After all that, so that's the Thalmor Embassy completely dealt with. Let us return to Riverwood to recover our stuff and speak to Delphine with our new information. Very good. Hey, watch Excuse me. Excuse me. Pardon me. Pardon me. And excuse me. Be careful. Shut up. All right. Come on in. We got warm food, warm food. Yes, I know. The usual. You know, Delphine, we are born in a barn. Do you want us to get discovered? All right, I need my stuff. You made it out alive, at least. Your gear is safe in my room, as promised. Did you learn anything useful? The Thalmon know nothing about the dragons. Really? That seems hard to believe. You're sure about that? Yes, I'm sure. They're looking for someone named Asburn. Asburn? He's alive? I thought the Thalmor must have got him years ago. That crazy old man. Figures the Thalmor would be on his trail, though, if they were trying to find out what's going on with the dragons. What would the Thalmor want with Esbern? You mean aside from wanting to kill every blade they can lay their hands on? Esbern was one of the blade's archivists, back before the Thalmor smashed us during the Great War. He knew everything about the ancient dragon lore of the blades. Obsessed with it, really. Nobody paid much attention back then. I guess he wasn't as crazy as we all thought. So the Thalmor think the Blades now know about the dragons. Ironic, right? The old enemies assume that every calamity must be a plot by the other side. Even so, we've got to find Esbern before they do. He'll know how to stop the dragons if anybody does. Do they know where he is? They seem to think he's hiding out in Riften. Riften, eh? Probably down in the Ratway, then. It's where I'd go. You'd better get to Riften. Talk to Brynjolf. He's well connected. A good starting point, at least. Oh, and when you find Esbern, if you think I'm paranoid, you may have some trouble getting him to trust you. Just ask him where he was on the 30th of Frostfall. You'll know what it means. Alright, and that's the end of that. What's so important about me being Dragonborn? The Blades have always guarded and guided the Dragonborn, but we'd forgotten why. Now our purpose is clear. I'm all that's left of the Blades, and you're the Dragonborn. Together, we're going to stop these dragons if we have to put every last one of them back in the ground. What happened to the Blades? Why are you on the run? The Thalmor happened. They've been hunting down every blade they can find for the past 30 years. Thanks to the White Gold Concordat, they've been able to operate throughout the Empire with impunity. Uh, do I have to go through all this? White Gold Concordat, what's that? The Great War. Only 30 years uh, passed in already ancient history to most people. Seems to me like it just ended. It's never really ended for me. But to answer your question, the White Gold Concordat was the fancy name they put on the peace treaty between the Empire and the Thalmor. Okay, still going for 40 minutes. It ended the war and saved the Empire to fight another day. Also trampled on the sacred name of Talos and gave the Thalmor free reign to stamp out Talos' worship throughout the Empire. Who are the Thalmor? Hmm, there's no simple answer to that. You want the long version or the short version? Just the short version. They're the High Elves that ruled the Eldmeri Dominion. Sworn enemies of the Empire and everything it stands for. Thirty years ago, they invaded the Empire and came close to destroying it. They smashed the blades in the process. Since then, they've been working to weaken the Empire any way they can. Okay. Let's grab all our bits and bats. Um, we have everything equipped again. Um, 
Yeah, it looks good. Looking fine. We're looking fine. Alright, so that is diplomatic immunity completed. Sweet. <clears throat> Sorry. Um. Okay. Sorry, I don't know what happened there. Um, so that is the end of Diplomatic Immunity. So obviously the next quest is a Cornered Rat and it requires us to go to Rifter. We are not going to do that. We are going to take another break from the main story to do something else. And as I've previously said, what we are going to be doing next is the Dawn Guard DLC. So we will be starting up with that in the next episode. So I'm actually looking forward to it. Should be quite fun. Anyway... Um, we're going to end it here. We've actually already gone over 40 minutes, which is terrible for me, but um, yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And also be sure to share the video, and I shall see you guys in episode 60, is it? I think. Everything Bye, guys. <laughs>